Okay, I just barely finished doing the lights on the bus. Like, a couple hours ago. And then I was gonna start a new project, but then I got distracted and I was running errands. And then I was really about to get to work, but then my friend called me to see if I wanna go hiking. But that's fine, if I go hiking, then I'll be like more refreshed to work on it for real when I get back, right? Sunny. Sunny dog, do you want do you want one of these bones for your collection? probably guess I did not go home last night after hiking and start working on the bus but that's okay because it's like eight o'clock now and I have a few hours to work it's a Saturday and my family my parents and my sister are in town but I'm gonna go meet them later so I'm gonna see what I can get done in three or four hours maybe I'm getting really really close to being ready to schedule this brain foam appointment especially because I think I've had a little bit of a change of plans. So this whole time, I've mentioned it a few times, I've been planning to get the plumbing and the electrical in and then spray foam over top of it. But as I was thinking about it and talking about it with my brother yesterday, I realized that I'm only getting an inch and a half spray foam and I have way more than an inch and a half right here. So I think I'm actually gonna get the, the insulation done first and then I'll still have room to do the wiring and the plumbing and everything inside of the insulation and then I'll be able to access it later that makes me feel a lot less nervous about messing up because I was really nervous to like cover everything with spray foam and then if I mess anything up which I we all know I probably will I wouldn't be able to fix it later so the only thing I'm worried about is like when they say inch and a half spray foam is it actually an inch and a half or is it going to be a huge mess and actually be you know all the way out and I'm going to have to deal with that then but I don't know we'll see how it goes but anyway, that means that I have way less that I have to do before I'm ready to get the appointment, which I'm really happy about because I got a quote from him and he says it's just going up, the insulation guy, so I want to do it as quickly as possible so that it's as cheap as possible. I think there's really just three big things that need to be done. First is the welding. I'm not doing that. Morgan's going to do that for me. I need to finish framing the ceiling. Every time I finish one step, I think, oh, maybe I need to do one more thing, so I'm going to do that. And then I need to sort out the existing electrical. All of this huge mess I have, this big jumble of wires, which then comes all the way back. I need to figure out what's going with that, sort through that, and then, you know, make sure all the lights and stuff are working before I cover them all up with spray foam. Yeah, and then I think I'm ready. So this morning I'm gonna start off with trying to finish the framing, get the last bits of the framing done. So last time I left you guys off, I had these walls done and these center ceiling pieces done. Since then, I also added these. Oh, well, I need to finish that one, but I added these so that it won't sag in that corner. And so I need to do that on this side as well. And then I think I also need to add one, like actually going down the center. So yeah, I'm very, very tired of doing this, but the end is in sight, right?
I got bored and quit yesterday. But today, I have some solid goals. It's Sunday, I have nothing on the agenda, so I'm gonna work until I get two things done. Get the rest of these ceiling pieces in. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to finish that today. Get started in sorting out this mess of wires. I don't know that what that means, get started. Maybe I'll get started and immediately give up, but I'm gonna at least get started. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay, ceiling strips are in. Some of them are totally crooked. <laughs> Turns out, like this guy here. Uh, also this guy back here. Where is it? Not straight. That's okay, I really don't think it'll matter. Um, so my next task is to start working on all this mess here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is just try to like sort of sort these and organize them and get them where I can like see them clearly. Yeah? Okay, so far I've pretty much figured out nothing, except that this thingy here is like the video surveillance thing. So I'm pretty sure I can get rid of it. I'm absolutely sure I can get rid of it, except that it is bolted down. And I am lazy, but I'm gonna get that out first. Okay, I was sorting through things, being careful, cut a couple of things that I thought were fine, and then I thought, okay, now I'm gonna figure out how, what's wrong with these side lights that aren't working and fix that. And so I went to turn on the lights and see what I had going for me. None of my lights turned on. I was hoping by some miracle this was gonna turn out to be way easier than I was expecting. It seems that will not be happening. <laughs> I keep just like coming out here and staring at this thing, like at some point I'm just gonna suddenly understand it. But what does it mean? Okay, let's see, power distribution, so battery. Whatever that is, whatever that is. Battery again? No. Pump defroster. I don't understand. <sighs> I don't know what to do or who can help me. Okay, I just called my brother Thomas and asked him if he wanted to come help me. He hung up on me, but I think he said sure first. We'll see <laughs> if he shows up. <laughs> German Shepherd, is that what the one I'm thinking of? Stop. Why? 
Are you filming him? No, <laughs> come back! I'm not filming! I did something bad. What? None of my lights work. Yeah, it's called cutting a bunch of wires, but I don't know <laughs> what they were. Okay, it's the next day now. I didn't do any more filming yesterday because I was busy having a meltdown. I think I stopped filming right about when Thomas got here and we realized that the headlights were working, the blinkers were working, everything down was working, but these side blinkers and everything around the top, nothing was working. And it was working a few days ago, so I wasn't sure. I thought that I had like cut something or did something terrible and messed it up and I didn't know what I had done and I didn't know how to fix it. And then on top of that, before we realized that, I had been trying to like... So when I watched videos on how to do this, it, at least what I thought you were supposed to do was kind of like separate all these wires, figure out what went where, get rid of what you didn't need. But I was so overwhelmed because it, you can't tell as well now because I made some progress on it, but this was just, you know, a huge bundle of wires here and it had all these different like twists and turns and connections up here. Everything was tangled together. So I was trying to separate it and like couldn't make heads or tails of anything, couldn't get anything separated. It was just this huge tangled mess. And so I had broken a bunch of stuff and didn't know how I had broken it. And I didn't know how I was gonna figure it out because I couldn't see anything. Everything was just such a mess. And so I was really freaked out. I didn't know what to do. Like Thomas didn't, Thomas wasn't sure what to do and I didn't know what to do. So that's when I started having a meltdown because usually if something is hard, I can move on to something else or I can do, you know, one little thing, make a tiny, tiny bit of progress. And eventually like little by little stuff comes together, but I didn't even know what one little thing to do. So I was like freaking out. We've been when I first got this bus, we were debating like how many times this was going to bring me to tears. Surprisingly, yesterday was the first time. I wasn't like, I wasn't like full on crying, but I was definitely like making an effort not to cry. I think, I think a little bit of tears may have escaped. I spent a good, probably total of like 30 minutes just lying on my back on the grass outside, trying not to cry. So yesterday really did me in a little bit. But it's okay, because we sorted it all out eventually. Let me tell you, if I had one piece of advice on how to do all of this, and I don't know, maybe this is the type of thing that most people, is common sense to most people and it didn't occur to me, but like I said, when I was watching videos on how to do this, you know, people were just saying, we're gonna like look at where everything goes and figure out what we don't need, what we do need. And so I was trying to start from the center and work my way, you know, I in my head, it was just gonna be like this nice, combing out of the wires and then they were all gonna be laying here flat and, and spread out and I could be able to see what was what and I just couldn't do that. It's kind of like if you have long hair and you have to start combing it, if it's really, really tangled and you can't start combing it from the top, you have to like kind of comb out the bottom first and then work your way out, you work your way up. It's like that because I eventually just went to the back of the bus and started working from the back. So I would take, I took like Actually, I started with some of these. I don't know why this is still here. I started at the back and pulled out the back one of these, which used to be connected to the interior speakers. I had already disconnected this, so I just pulled it out, followed it back, and it went to another one that led to a speaker. It went to another one that led to a speaker, and I just worked my way up to the front of the bus, and then a whole chunk of wires was gone. And then I just started doing that like with the rear the wires that went to the rear flashers, and I worked my way up, and then that chunk of wires was gone. By the time I had removed all the stuff that I had already cut and was already like stuff that I cut months ago that I knew wasn't the problem. It was so much easier to manage and work with. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if you are like me and you don't know what you're doing and you're trying to build a butts or thinking about it, maybe that'll be helpful to know. Start from the back and work your way forward. Second thing is we figured out, mostly Thomas figured out, why do I say mostly? 100% Thomas figured out the front lights on top weren't working because I had unattached the ground wire front and back when I took those little metal strips out that were holding everything together. They weren't attached to the ground, so we put the ground back on up there and everything worked. We put the ground back on back here and everything didn't work. But as we were whittling this big chunk of wires down, this, Thomas also found one little tiny white wire that had been cut. Now, I don't know if, if that was done before. I actually don't know if my rear lights ever worked. I don't remember ever checking them. 
So I don't know if that was done before I got the bus or if I accidentally snipped it when I was like cutting all the zip ties or what, but we just reattached that wire and the rear lights worked and then we were getting power also to the side blinkers. So everything is in working order now and I'm so relieved. I was freaking out yesterday. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was like, I'm gonna have to take this to a professional. Who knows how long it's gonna take? Who knows how much it's gonna cost? But everything is fine. And it turns out in the end, you know, once we got the ball rolling, it did turn out to be a lot easier than I was anticipating in the beginning. So hopefully I'm just gonna finish up the last bits today and hopefully it'll all continue to be as smooth as it was in the later part of yesterday. This is the pile of wires that I have removed so far. And then this is what I have left. So, still looks like a mess, but compared to yesterday, it's all much better. <laughs> The emergency exit door alarm. Stuff to be learned, but it's These have also been disconnected for a long time and not causing any problems, so I feel pretty safe getting rid of them. This is probably isn't the way I should have approached it. I should have been just cutting stuff and looking things to work. Oh, yeah. 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 Because I think I got pretty lucky that nothing got effed up. But that's the way I did it. Okay, so I've got these these wires that went to the emergency exit door traced all the way back up now to here where it goes down to that whole big panel outside. Right now I'm just going to cut them right here and label them. I'm really not sure if there's actually any point of me doing that. I just figure if something does go wrong down the road, I'll at least have a record of the dumb stuff I did. So maybe I can undo it. And then I'll take care of these ends later. Do something with them, obviously I'm not just going to leave them dangling there. Okay, I gotta say I love these little solder steel connector thingies. They're so cool. Look, these ones I already heat gunned. I don't know if you can see, but there's like solder melted throughout the wires. So they're really solid. You couldn't yank these apart. Also, the light I wired up in that corner the other day when I was testing them out, it worked. Okay. I think I've basically gotten everything out that I'm gonna get out. This is what I'm left with. Very clean compared to what I was working with before. Plus I have this big heap of trash. Can I reuse old wires? So now what I'm gonna start doing is starting from the back again. I'm just gonna come through and kind of like maybe tape these or something, somehow secure them so they're not all over the place. 
You just spray foam over them. All right, back from a supply run. This is my first ever pumpkin spice latte. It's okay. I don't taste very much pumpkin though. Also, this costs five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Now I just gotta do the entire rest of the bus. Now I've got these wires and the wires in front all kind of bundled into a nice small bundle and snaked down here to this opening. Now what I'm going to try to do is take all these ends that I don't need and just sort of push them down through that hole to the outside panel thingy so that they're out of my way and then I can deal with them from down there when I need to. Oh, let's see how well this is going to work. This compared to what it was before, I'd say it's okay. Yeah, I think that is, I think that's it as far as sorting out and organizing the electrical stuff that's already here. I think that's what I needed to do. So that's gonna be it. Next time, I will be attempting to install the backup lights and cameras that I bought a few weeks ago. So that should be fun. Whew. That's all.